center of the universe. Everyone is born a lonely star. And no one can be perfect. We can only be who we are. Yeah, cause we're living today. Feel the love of life. And don't be afraid. Welcome to the uncensored live Sims Big Brother reunion show, where we'll catch up with all of the house guests, the newest winner of a series on our network, and more importantly, your winner that you crowned with your votes. I want to talk to some of the house guests here, starting with your winner, Sophia Maria. You're the winner of Sims Big Brother. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling great! I brought my tiara because I'm clearly the queen. It's official. It's confirmed. Sorry, Angel. <laughs> he told me that last night if I won, he would throw himself off of a bridge. So I guess he'd better start picking out his favorite bridge. How does it feel to be out of that house? Being outside that house after being constantly degraded on a daily basis is a relief. I can breathe again. It's a pressure cooker in there, and I don't even know how to use one of those, but I think that's the correct word to use for this game. I'm not as bitchy and argumentative in my real life. I'm very different. I don't think anyone expected you to make it this far, from the viewers making you their nominee in week one, to giving you a diamond power veto that saved you from eviction, to you being in the final three. It's been crazy. And as you know, once in a while, we've been known to bring back people on future shows. I would love to see you play again. Would you come back on a show with All-Stars to play again? Oh, I don't know about that. I just got out of that house after being locked in there for months. I think I'm going to say no right now. Constantly being stressed and put down by everyone is not really something I want to go through again. Ask me again next week and my answer might be different though. <laughs> Maybe if you guys sweet talk me into it. Who wants to see Sophia Maria play again? <laughs> now, I want to talk to our runner up, Odessa. I thought you had it there for a minute, but it turns out that it wasn't even close. Sophia Maria won with over 60% of the vote. What do you think went wrong? Well, I don't really think anything went wrong. I just think that the viewers wanted to give someone the win who really got into the strategy and manipulation part of the game. And I don't blame them. I think that's interesting to watch as a viewer. And clearly, it's not every series that they get to choose a winner. I think if there was a jury like on a regular season, I would have won against those two. I played with my heart, and I have no regrets. It may not have been the most memorable game, but I'd do it again in a heartbeat. It's the only way I know how to be. Well, Odessa, you had a lot of people rooting for you, and I'm sure your family's very proud. Good job. Angel, let me just say as a viewer, you played one hell of a game. Going into tonight, you really acted like you thought you had it. Where do you think you lost the viewer support? Oh my god. Wow. I'm just so disappointed right now. I really thought that I had this in the bag for sure. I tried to do everything right and make it interesting for the viewers. I don't know what happened. I'm fucking devastated. I don't even know how I'm going to lift this down or even sleep tonight. I feel like all of my work was for nothing. But the viewers voted how they voted, and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm just really tired. Well, one thing is for sure, you really took advantage of the no jury twist and played hard. Nobody can take that away from you. You killed it, and you're arguably the most strategic player we've ever had on this network. Now I want to come over here to Tiffany. Tiffany, you were the victim of one of the biggest blindsides on the show this season. How did you feel about Angel coming into tonight's finale? I'm still really hurt. Part of me was hoping that he would win so that his ruthlessness and burning all of his bridges and friendships wouldn't be for nothing. You were really shocked to be evicted. Did it ever cross your mind that maybe you wouldn't be there on finale night? It did cross my mind that I may be sent home at some point, but I never thought that Angel would be the one to do it. 
In fact, he's probably the last person I would have expected to do that. So it was a huge shock. I never would have done that to him. Our friendship was more important than that to me. Angel, was your friendship with Tiffany real or for strategy purposes? Tiffany, baby, it was 100% real and I hope you know that. But in the back of my mind, I would always have been willing to vote you out to win. And I established that before we established our friendship because I had enough friends back home coming into this. I couldn't let myself be here for months and not put myself in the best position possible to win. I hope you can forgive me. Jarrell, we saw your relationship with Tiffany end very abruptly and then you were voted off but I want to give you the chance to defend yourself and clear up anything that you want to right now. Well, I just want to say that, Tiffany, I'm sorry for hurting you. You're a great girl. And you deserve a great guy. I hope you can forgive me and that we can be friends. I have a big ego. It's a problem. Are you and your girlfriend back at home still together? No, we're not. Not after she saw that episode. But it wasn't all that serious to begin with. One thing that I think was so great about this season was how unpredictable the viewers were. You guys were really flexible with your votes, and I think that made for a really fun and exciting season. Like, for example, Sophia Maria was nominated by the viewers in week one and received their eviction vote. A little while later, you guys gave her a diamond power veto that saved her from eviction, and now she she's here and she's won the competition. At first, we were really nervous about incorporating viewer influence into the show because it can get really predictable, but I think the only thing predictable about this season was how unpredictable the viewers were, and I think it was a huge success, so thank you guys. And also, I want to say a huge, huge, major thank you to my incredible voice actors on this season because without you guys, the show wouldn't have been nearly as great as it was, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. We have all truly made history here. It's here forever, and I hope that you're as proud of the show and your work as I am. It was truly a pleasure to work with every single one of you, and I'd love to do it again if you're ever up for it. Now, let's take a look at some never-before-seen bloopers from our voice actors. I really don't want to work with Sophia Marie again. She's so mean and selfish. The last time I formed her... Oh. <laughs> I have my own. In week two, I told Team Offbeat to split the. Oh my god. Okay, I'm like recording final speech again. I'm sorry. This is the final three speech. One of them. Oh fuck, let's just start all over. <laughs> fuck, take it from the top. I'm done. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Fuck, this is gonna be long. Well, last week, I asked him what nine times wine... Wine. Okay, what's nine times wine? Yeah. I'm quoting this as, like, blooper or whatever, but you know what? I hope Sophia Maria dies in a hole, and... <laughs> I hope she gets shot. Oh my god, that sounds brutal. I really hope Sophia... <laughs> I really hope Sophia Maria dies in a fire, honestly. Wait, that should be an episode. Irene wants a boyfriend, by the way. <laughs> uh, I probably you probably already written like the episode, like some of the episodes, but like Irene wants a boyfriend, okay? <laughs> Get her up. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Irene wants a boyfriend. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. Sophia Maria, my Med and Pega have been nominated for eviction. But I have won the power veto. <laughs> Why? Sophia Maria, my Met, and Pega have been nominated for eviction. But I have won <laughs> Jarrell, since I have vetoed one of your nominations, you will have to <laughs> What the fuck? That my 
deep voice though. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not eliminated. I'm just having a lol rant. Have you ever heard of the phrase searching for a needle in a haystack? Well, in tonight's head of household competition, you'll be searching for a lighter in a haystack. <laughs> that is the corniest shit ever. I need to like hire writers. If I wasn't broke as a joke, I would. I'm gonna be fired, aren't I? I'm literally gonna be on the streets. They're not bringing me back next season. Well, last week I asked him what nine times what. I keep doing it! As you know, on Sims Big Brother, we love surprises. There are only four of you left in this game and still in the running for the grand prize. Oh my god, I'm reading. <laughs> I'm reading Ben's lines. I can't. I'm so fucking dumb. Hello, and welcome to Sim Survivor. Wrong show. It's way too early for this shit. I have not had enough coffee. I'm not ready to host until I have coffee. Like, I can't even talk right on a normal basis. Never mind, host a damn show. After you caused my Met and I to have struggle. Do you think that was a favor? And you're the one to turn. Oh my god. And Odessa, can you pop up my pillar for me? Oh my god, pillar. Lord Jesus, can I redo anything herself? Oh my gosh. Fun drinking game. Take a shot every time I say, that's right, or tonight, you will die of blood alcohol poisoning, and I can't endorse that, so JK. <coughs> Rita. Oh my god, this cat messing up my lens. Who you think you is? Who you think you is? I see you. Yeah. Now I gotta do this shit all over. Great! I can't wait to meet your wife, Jordan! Oh, I messed up. We have to prepare for the upcoming... Well, ugh. Power of Beto competition. Uh, oh my god. For the upcoming... Shit. <laughs> oh my god. What's P.O.B. stand for? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Okay, let's get that. <laughs> because you're going home, chick. Garin. 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 Oh my god, how do you say that? <laughs> Garin. Guaranteed. Gar guaranteed. Oh, guaranteed. <laughs> that is all for this season of Sin Sick Brother. Until next time, I'm your host, Ben Blaine. Thank you so much for watching and voting this season, and I'll see you next time. Good night, everybody. Yeah.